Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with more Space Marine goodness. As of the launch of this video, the two-week pre-order window is finally closed and you guys have gotten your hands on the beautiful new range of Space Marines brought out by Games Workshop. Uh, so far, I have done a couple of videos on uh, some of the new kits. I have done one of the Stern Guard. I have done the Assault Captain with Jump Pack. And today I'm going to be doing the unbelievable new banner bear from the company heroes set um, i didn't quite know where to put this uh, miniature in my space marine collections um up until basically this morning when i decided that there really was only one option and that was to put him into my black templars so that's what i'm doing for you guys here today i'm going to attempt to take that beautiful um, company heroes banner bearer and uh, make him look like he belongs in a crusade alongside all of my Templars. Uh, I'll be also showing off a little bit more of my Black Templar collection at the end of this video because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what the full scale of the force currently looks like, uh, where I plan to go with it, what I'm adding to it next and how I feel about it generally. So I'll give you guys a little run through and a little kind of tour of some models at the end and then uh, give my thoughts and feelings on the force so far and where I want to go from there. Before I get into the video though, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my active patrons. You guys are amazing. You help me uh, with this channel more than you will ever know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're interested in getting involved with that, there are links to it in the description below. Uh, people who are members of my Patreon get access to a private Discord server where they can hang out and enjoy their hobby alongside me on a daily basis. And they get access to an extra video every single week. So that's 52 extra videos a year just for you guys. I think that's a pretty good reward. Okay, without further ado, let's get stuck into painting this Black Templar's Banner Bear. Obviously this model is fantastic. Um, it's one of the standout miniatures from the new range of Space Marines that got shown off and are now currently released as of the release of this video. And obviously I've shown you guys how to do my Black Templars quite a few times before, so I didn't think there was um, a lot of purpose, a lot of reason for me to go through the infantry side of things. So I am going to focus heavily in this particular video on the banner itself, because I've often found that there are different parts to um, to miniatures that scare people uh, more than anything else. This is why I did a specific video on how to paint the new Cadian banner from the Cadian Command Squad. Um, and I think that video helped a lot of people. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Now, obviously it only covers one chapter of Space Marines. It is Black Templars, but hopefully you can take the ideas that I use for this one and it can really help you out. Cause you just gotta stop thinking about it. It's this crazy abstract thing, a banner. Banners are hard. It is no different to any other part of the model. I'm going to treat it with the same like respect that I am the rest of the miniature. I'm going to use the same technique, same paints. So it's sprayed exactly like my Marine. I use some black Templar contrast to fill in the inside square. And then for the rest of the outside fabric, I'm going to use Blood Angels red contrast, just like as if it was the black Templar himself. And you will see that I'm obviously not going to avoid the Marine. He'll get painted um, alongside me painting the banner. I just won't focus on him a lot. So the same paints will be used back and forth. There's actually only one additional step that I would do from the process of painting my Marines to painting this banner. One singular step and that's it. Other than that is exactly the same process. Sandry dust of course used for all of the bone or white areas. So Templars are traditionally white um, for their tabards and shoulder pads and stuff like that. But I like the bone more. I've carried that across my entire Black Templar's army and I will continue to carry that across all Black Templar's armies moving forward, all the miniatures I add in. And it's simply just adding in bone instead of the white. Um, I don't know what it is, the, the slightly softer color, just I think it looks really cool. Instead of like the really stark black and white that they can be uh, in the traditional color, is uh, it's just not for me. So as you can see, I've got a fine pointed brush and I'm just base coating in the um, the bits that I need to be that bone color here. So obviously there's choice where you want them to be, what you want to do. So if it's an Ultramarines banner, uh, these bits might be red and black or I can't actually remember what other colors Black Templar or Ultramarines would be. But you know what I mean, all the different shell, um, shield iconography that they are. Militarum green for the, uh, the wreath that uh, runs around the design as well. Once again, it's still just contrasts. Already starting to take shape. Bit of Retribute Armor Gold for the trim area. So the square that runs around, a rectangle that runs around the, the banner. Yeah, and then obviously there's a lot of detail on the banner that need to go gold as well. And a ton on the miniature, but I'm sure you'll, you'll see them as you're going along. But uh, yeah, the trim. The big design that uh, runs around the middle. The iconography on the top of the banner. 
the banner topper and then all the nice little clips and stuff that hold on the big fancy purity seals and stuff so it is actually quite a lot of gold and you need to take your time pay attention and um, make sure you don't miss any of those parts Already the banner is starting to look really nice. I'm starting to get really pleased with the result. And all I've done so far is put on all the ugly base coats. <laughs> you gotta remember that all models have an ugly stage. There's a point where you just have base coats on a model where the model just doesn't look great. And unfortunately, a lot of people get disheartened at that point. All you gotta do is dig deep and finish painting. If you finish painting, I promise you it will look awesome. You just have to trust yourself and trust the paints and trust the process. So I'm going to throw a null oil shade all over this miniature. You guys might think I'm crazy, but it's my shade of choice for my Black Templars. It helps to finish off the armor on the models themselves. And of course, as we wait for that shade to dry, let's have a little look at today's sponsor, which is of course the glorious independent hobbyist Air Hobbies. They are one of my favorite stores based out of Ireland. They do a fantastic range of hobby products and um, one of the widest range of hobby products that I've ever seen any independent do. And um, they do fantastic next day delivery. If you spend over 60 euro, that uh, feature is in fact free. And um, they have saved my bacon on more than one occasion when I ran out of something quite important like a glue or a spray or something like that. And they continuously add new things to their range every single week. They are showing off on their social media. Check out their Instagram and stuff like that. The new stuff they have in. Their Saturday stories are always lit because you get to just see this thing out of this thing out of this thing out of this thing out of. They're always up to date. Uh, I know for a fact that they spent last weekend in Germany at a miniature fair looking at the next things they're going to add to their stock. So they definitely take their job very seriously. And that kind of commitment is something that uh, makes me extremely happy and I'm more than happy to support and promote this awesome thing. So if you want to check them out for yourself, check out the links below to their store. Check out all the amazing products and order yourself something nice. Uh, you deserve it, trust me. So here it is, the whole model shaded with, shaded with Nuln Oil and it left to dry. And this is the result. Now it's time to just add a quick few highlights. Nothing crazy. We're gonna start with a two-stage highlight on the red part. So we're gonna start with Mephiston Red. And once again, fine pointed brush, a bit of patience, and I'm gonna take my time and layer up all of the red parts of this miniature. It's actually quite a lot of red because he's got his big red cape, plus the banner itself. Now, I know the front of the banner doesn't look like a lot of red, but the back of the banner is completely blank and it's supposed to be red as well. So this stage did take a little bit of time, but you know, it wasn't too uh, painful. Red is a really nice color. It covers really well, um, so there's no harm there like that we're in that stage now where we are doing the layering so this is the stage where you want to take your time go a little bit slower try your best not to paint outside the lines and um, as we're now in the kind of finishing steps of things you don't want to hit the black or the bone or the gold with this obviously we can just touch up and fix those things as we go but the less we have to touch up the better for the second layer of highlights on the banner we're going to go for evil sun scarlet yeah, the reason that we've gone for these tones is it matches in with all the sword brethren and stuff that we've done previously for the army so all those color schemes and stuff will match really nicely. So it's nothing crazy. It will just blend into my Templars, which you'll see more of at the end of the video. Like I said, I'm gonna have them all splayed out on a table. Hopefully I can show you guys what the, the army thus far looks like. And you can tell me if you like it or you think I need some more stuff. So that is the red pretty much finished off. I'm really happy with that. Here comes the stage where I talked about doing something slightly different to my armor. So with my power armor itself, the black, all it is is the contrast back dry brush with a little bit of silver and then the null oil put over it. That's the end of it. But it gives you a really nice metallic looking black, which power armor should look like in my opinion. Obviously you don't want cloth to look like it's made of metallic. So this is where we come in with Corvus black and we just layer up all the black parts of the banner, which is just that inside panel for me and around the iconography at the bottom. So nothing crazy. Obviously this will be quite different to if you're doing Ultramarine's banner or, or a World Eater banner or whatever, whatever you want to do with it. Black is obviously one of those colors that your mind does not pay attention to an awful lot. So as long as you make it neat and tidy, you don't have to put in a crazy amount of detail or effort. This is the bit where you're gonna to need to uh, yeah, take your time. The Screaming Skull layer job on all of the bits we did Zandri Dust. This will most likely take two coats of paint. You need to be really patient. It does not give great coverage. It's kind of a pain in the backside. I really do need to find a, 
a better alternative to Screaming Skull because it has been a pain in my backside to use for, I don't know, 20 years now. So maybe a, an AK paint or some of the pro acryl paint might be better to use at this stage, but I'm gonna stick with Screaming Skull for now. I'm just gonna go through and layer up all those bits. So obviously the tabards, all the purity seals, all the different bits on the banner that need to be um, brightened up and brought that kind of white slash bone color scheme into the model um, is what we're gonna do here. See the one shoulder pad on show is done as well. Warboss Green is then gonna be brought in as a quick layer job to the wreath on the banner. And this is kind of a funny and interesting thing because although I say this is specifically a Black Templar banner, if you painted any chapter, if you painted this banner for any chapter and painted exactly the same as this, but then just put in your iconography into the, the little gap in the circle in the middle, it would look awesome. Do you know what I mean? Like company banners, regiment banners, they're all different. There's so many different ones. You can choose whatever colors you like. So although this looks like a Black Templar banner because I'm being held by a Black Templar, if the guy underneath was painted like an Ultramarine, but the banner was painted exactly the same as this, nobody would look at it and be like, hey, that's a Black Templar's banner. That doesn't work at all. They'd be like, well, that's a pretty cool banner. Once you put the stylized U on it from the Ultramarines, it's going to look great. Pearl Fist, Fist, sure, why not? Salamander Dragon, yep. I added in some all the transfers I needed. Obviously, I went a little bit overboard on transfers because I love transfers, but I think it definitely added something really nice to the banner. The last step for painting is to touch up all of the wax seal parts. So we obviously be base coat these with volopus pink and um, contrast, but I don't know whether I got that on camera. And then pink horror was then brought in to uh, highlight all of the little wax seals. And there's about, I think, four or five purity seals on this miniature that I need to go around and uh, do the wax seals on. And with that, we will finish up what the, this beautiful, I don't know what he's called, company veteran with banner. This is the final result. Obviously, I think I'm super pleased with him. I think he's gonna look great um, in with the rest of my Black Templar force. I now have Grimaldus's banner and this banner. So there's two banners painted for my Black Templars now. Um, and yeah, I kind of couldn't be happier. Can't wait to, I'm glad I decided to put them in my Black Templars and I can't wait to paint the other four members of the squad. Maybe I should read the rules and see what these things actually do, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's just a cool model to have in the collection. So, all right, now we're gonna jump in and have a look at the collection. You guys can let me know what you think. Okay guys, and there we have it. I've managed to add in a beautiful banner bear to my Black Templars collection. Um, very happy with how it turned out. Can't wait to get the rest of the uh, Company Heroes box set completed for that force. I'm still a little unsure about how a Company Champion fits into a Black Templar force. Do Black Templars have other champions apart from the Emperor's Champions that go Leech Crusade? I'm not really sure. I might have to do a little bit of research, but he'll get painted like a mini Emperor's Champion for now. And hopefully people don't get upset with me for doing that. I also finish off my Stern Guard. And I have been sent, obviously, the new multi-part um, Terminators as well. Uh, and they are going to get all jazzed up with Black Templar's parts. I'm going to be adding new shoulder pads and helmets and all those kind of bits and pieces. So they really blend in with the Force. Uh, as goes my Black Templar Force as it stands, I am really happy with the current standing of it. As you can see, I do have quite a large selection of Black Templar miniatures. And um, most of the units that I want for the Force are already built and painted. As you can see, I've got a couple of things left to paint for the Force as it stands. And I don't just mean the new kits that I've received now. I've got another Sakarian variant that I want to add in, a Vindicate Laser Destroyer, which I've added custom doors and the big beautiful vents at the top. I want to add that in. I have my squad of uh, bikers with the Chaplain on bike that's converted up to be more of like a Champion on bike. And I'll use it as a Chaplain on bike with the rules. And as for that, I think I just need to add a couple more tanks into the force and then decide from the Space Marine Codex what other units do you think belong in a Black Templar's force. I'd really like to know your thoughts on that as well. Do you think there's any kind of stand out or obvious units that should be in this Black Templar's army that are not in this Black Templar's army. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, so I would really like to get your input uh, on what I should add next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you ha enjoy having a quick look at my Black Templar's force. If you want to see more of them in more detail, please do let me know in the comments below and I will go into it. I'll maybe dedicate an entire video just to showing you all the different units. Yeah, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. It really does make a huge difference. And uh, ask me anything you want in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around at the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.